I'm Chris with Motion Worship, and I'm here to teach you how to customize the color and look of your motion backgrounds using effects in ProPresenter 7. So ProPresenter 7 is a really powerful program for building out church services and organizing your slides, but it's also a really great program for editing the actual look of your motion backgrounds using effects. All of that is done under the effects tab in the inspector on media items, and I kind of tend to break down the different effects into two categories. There's adjustment effects and creative effects. I think of adjustment effects as effects that are used to modify the color or saturation of the slide, whereas I think of creative effects as things that completely change the design altogether. All right, if you're interested in using effects to adjust the look of your motion backgrounds, here's how to do it. All right, go to your media bin and find a motion background that you wanna edit. We'll edit this one right here. Right click on it and go to inspector and then go to the effects tab and then click on this plus button and you can use any of these effects, but I'll show you the ones that I find particularly useful. For simple visual color adjustments, I use adjust color, color filter, and two color down here. I'm just gonna add all of these for now so we have them set up and then I can turn them off and show you what each one does. So if you wanna change the fundamental color of your motion background, you can drag this hue slider to wherever you want and this adjusts the entire color scheme of the motion background. So find whatever setting you like that at the most and then you can also adjust the saturation with the slider here. Dragging it all the way down is gonna make it black and white and then dragging it all the way up will make it super saturated and intense. You can adjust the brightness here and also the contrast over here. So next, we're just gonna turn off this effect with this check mark here, and we're gonna turn on color filter so I can show you what this one does. Now this is kind of similar to the hue, but instead of adjusting the entire color scheme, it actually overlays whatever color you have on the entire motion background. So if we were to select yellow here, the entire thing is gonna be yellow as opposed to using the hue selector and the adjust color, which changes all of the colors together. All right, we'll turn off color filter and turn on two color. And this is a really cool effect because it allows you to select a different color for all of the dark and bright spots of the image. There's a couple different ways to select colors. You have a few basic ones under this dropdown, or we can go to this wheel here. So I'll select a really dark blue for all the dark colors. And then for all the bright colors, maybe we'll select like a bright teal color. And that changes the overall colors of the motion background entirely. Okay, now we're gonna dive into what I refer to as creative effects. And I call them that because they're not subtle adjustments to the color of the slides. Instead, they're used to create entirely different designs altogether. So before we get started, to get rid of all these effects that are already here, if we go to this button by effects presets and we click clear effects, it'll just delete all of those effects immediately. So two really great creative effects that I've discovered are Hexagon and Kaleidoscope 2. So I'll just add both of those right now. So the really cool thing about Hexagon is you can drag the size all the way up here and it creates sort of this mosaic tile-like design. And the awesome thing about this effect is that you can use it over both abstract or nature-based backgrounds and it makes all of them into this cool mosaic style abstract design. Also keep in mind that you can always add color adjustment effects after or before this hexagon effect to create different looks. All right, we're gonna turn off hexagon and we'll turn on kaleidoscope too. And this is a super intense effect. So you're gonna to wanna to drag your speed down so it's really, really, really slow. And then we'll put our sides at four. And depending on the motion background you're using, it can create some really cool looks. This one maybe isn't the best one to use. As you can tell, it's just a very, very intense visual effect. Uh, but if you have simpler backgrounds or even still images, since this is animated with the speed, you can make those all look pretty cool. All right, so earlier you saw that we can clear all the effects at the same time by going to this button and selecting clear effects. But something else we can do is we can actually save effect presets. So let's suppose that we want an effect preset for black and white. We can always click on this add effect, go to adjust color and drag the saturation down manually every time. Or once you do this one time, you can simply go to this button and do save as and title it. And I already created one called black and white. So if these are all cleared off of here, you can go to this button and you'll see all of your effect presets stacked here. So if I select this, it'll immediately pull in that preset. And that's gonna be it for this tutorial. That's how to use effects on media items in ProPresenter 7.